What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today, we're going to focus in on what the Boston Bruins are, who the Boston Bruins should target going into the uh, 2014 NHL entry draft in the first round. If you saw my mock draft, I got him taking Roland McEwen, uh, defenseman from the uh, Kings and Frontenacs of the Ontario Hockey League. I think he'd be a good fit, you know, really good all around player. Um, you know, he needs more time in juniors, and the Bruins can afford to give him that time. I think, you know, given the Bruins' depth in the organization, I think they'll, they'll take the best player available. You know, there's no pressing need. Um, you know, someone said something with Thatcher Demko. I don't think they'll take him. You know, if they were to trade Subban, I don't know why I'd bother acquiring another trade ship in a goalie. I mean, you know, I, I really, they can afford to take whoever the hell they want. So whoever the highest rank, ranked player is when they pick, might as well uh, roll with it. You know, I've heard Jack Doherty off the U.S. development team, defenseman, Josh Ostang. And, uh, you know, two of my favorite players in the draft, um, Nick Schmaltz and uh, Braden Point, you know, the, the all two forwards, and, you know, the other guys are defensemen. But, you know, you look at the, the depth that Bruins have. You know, you, you got young roster players in, um, you know, Dougie Hamilton and, and Bartowski and uh, Tory Krug on defense. And then, you, you know, you got, um, you know, the next wave coming up with, with Morrow, um, you know, and then the forwards, Kovalchev, Spuna, uh, you know, guys like that, Florek. And, um, you know, I, I think they have enough room to add whoever they want, let them develop, you know, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in uh, juniors, whether it's in college hockey. And, uh, you know, and then in a few years, check in and say, okay, he's made these these strides. I mean, you know, plus the thing is the Bruins are going to be a contending team for a long time that, you know, they can use whoever this is as, as trade ship. They can trade the pick. I mean, if they really want to address an issue, you know, I don't know. You know specifically where they'd you you know what what move they'd make and you know but the, as a team that was as good as they were to not win the Stanley Cup they got to look at themselves and say what do we have to do to get back to the finals and uh, you know if it means moving that pick if it means you know wheeling a deal in the draft I think that'll happen I think uh, in the second round if he's excuse me if he's still on the board Ryan Donato uh, Teddy Donato's son uh, going to going to Harvard after next season. He'd be a good fit. Uh, Brendan Lemieux slips in the second round. I think he'd be a very, very intriguing fit. You know, the Bruins are essentially one of the, and I think they pride themselves on being one of the most hated teams in the league. Um, and I think adding Lemieux to that mix would definitely be uh, something to uh, really piss off Canadians and, uh, you know, Buffalo Sabres, whoever. Uh, you know, Tampa Bay Lightning, you know, the division rivals. And uh, you can imagine Lemieux and Marchand on the same line. You know, <laughs> Lemieux, Marchand, and Patrice, Ber with Patrice Bergeron in the middle. You know, someone who's loved by everyone around the game. And then, you know, two shitheads that everyone else hates. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. But, um, you know, the first, second round, I think, you know, they can gamble, take whoever they want. You know, I don't think there's any pressure where they need to address a certain area of, of weakness. I don't, I don't think organizations, they have a glaring weakness. Um, but, you know, you got to get better. You know, any with a team like that to not win the Stanley Cup, but make the finals, you know, you got to look at yourself and say, okay, what can we do to improve this team in the long and short term? And I think Peter Shrelly and company will do that. But uh, anyway, that's why I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on who the Bruins should target in the 2014 NHL entry draft in the first two rounds. Stay tuned for episodes for the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.